Hey guys, I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. Today I am back with another Tuesday RV video. Have you guys been liking this schedule? Let me know in the comments below. Today I'm going to be talking about our washer and dryer. Uh, a long time ago somebody asked me about this because their girlfriend was going to travel with them and she was worried about laundry and now I can't find the comment so thank you whoever you are who asked this question. I'm so sorry that I can't find your comment but today I'm going to tell you guys what we have, how we like it, and I'll probably tell you how much I don't like the laundromat because I don't like the laundromat. A little bit of background. This is the first camper that we've had a washer and dryer in but we have owned it since February of 2013. You can do the math. So we've had it for a while and I do, we live in here almost full time, anywhere between 9 to 11 months out of the year I would say and since then and so and I do probably, it is just Austin and I but I do anywhere between 2 and 3 loads of laundry at least 5 days a week. So that gives you an idea of how many loads have been through this washer and dryer and it has held up wonderfully. I've only had a couple issues and I will tell you about those later on in the video. So to get started they are both Whirlpool and they are apartment size stackable units but ours are just side by side in the hallway closet actually right there <laughs> and so I will show you guys them here in just a little bit a little bit closer up. The washing machine is a front load automatic washer. I usually say wash, so I'm trying to be correct, but if it sounds awkward, that's why. Anyways, the washer machine, the washing machine, forget it, forget it, forget it. I can't. The washing machine is HE, so you just use any HE detergent, and it works just like a standard front load washing machine, but it's smaller, obviously. All right, can't find the specs. I already filmed this video a long time ago and it didn't, it wasn't in focus so I'm refilming it and I don't have all my notes with me. I will put them on the screen right here. So that's how big it is. Just so you guys can kind of get an idea, an average load, the main cycles that I use are the quick wash, the normal, and the heavy duty cycle, and then also the delicate cycle. So on the quick wash, I can do about one outfit to one and a half outfits, uh, which basically equivalents to a hoodie, a pair of jeans, and then like a very, very light t-shirt, and maybe like a pair of underwear and a pair of socks. Um, sometimes if it does have a hoodie and a pair of jeans on the quick wash, I will do like uh, an extra, like you can just add like an extra rinse or whatever and I'll do that but most of the time it does pretty good. The normal wash can do three large pieces so hoodies or jeans plus four plus other pieces so t-shirts, uh, long sleeve shirts, undershirts, uh, long johns, things like that, plus like so a couple pairs of socks and underwear, and then I, or I can do, like if I'm talking towels, um, I can do like two large bath towels, two hand towels, and some washcloths, so it actually fits like nice size loads. I can actually wash, this uh, comforter here is a quilted king size comforter and I can actually wash it in there. I do the um, longer cycle and I do the extra rinse but I've washed it in there multiple times and dried it in the dryer. I don't ever have to take it to the laundromat. Uh, we like the quilted because for one I can wash it myself. For two it's like lower profile. It's not puffy and we have to shimmy around the bed so we like that. And then on the heavy duty cycle, normally I only use this if I'm washing something that's pretty dirty. So I'll do like two to three pairs of dirty jeans and it gets it completely clean. And like I said, I really only use that cycle if, uh, if something's super dirty because I don't need that long of a cycle otherwise. Timing on those, quick wash 30 minutes, normal wash 50 minutes, 
and then the heavy duty is an hour and 10 minutes. The dry time is anywhere between 30 and 60 minutes depending on the size of the load, the type of clothes or whatever fabrics that I'm drying. I'm guessing that is like the main things that the main questions you guys would have. If you have any other questions, please put them down in the comments. I would love to be able to help you guys out. Uh, I just didn't really know what all you guys would be interested in. I have never had the combo washer and dryer. I've heard mixed reviews on them. What I will tell you is that if that's all I could have, I would have one because I hate the laundry mat. That's my take on that. I can't give you any advice because like I said, this is the only one that we've had and we absolutely love it. I do wish it was stacked on top of each other in a closet because I think it would be a better use of space, but nonetheless, we have it and we don't need that extra closet because we have it. If you have a washer and dryer in your rig, you don't need as many clothes and so it can take up closet space and it's just fine. The two problems that I've had, uh, the only main, the only problem that I've had to have fix is with the door and it was a little plastic part that cost me like 150 bucks. It was so frustrating. I don't know if it's always been a little bit messed up or if the way that I was treating the door, the way I was told to treat the door was wrong. Basically, whenever we bought it, the guy told me to close it and then pull it back until it clicked and then it was like gonna be fine to lock. Well, ever since I've got the part fixed, I don't have to do that and you just shut it and it latches and it's fine. So I kind of wonder if it was tweaked from the beginning and he just told me that because he knew that little trick to get around it if the door was messed up a little bit. I'm not for sure, but that's the only problem that we've had in this uh, amount of time of having it. The other thing is um, the two arrow messages, E10 I think is the drainage problem and I think it's like E11 is the water inlet problem. I will talk about those in a later video if you guys are interested. I think that is it for this video. I hope this answered some of y'all's questions. If you're looking for a recommendation on what washer and dryer to put in your rig, I absolutely would suggest these. They have been wonderful and the size is great. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here or if you just haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing by hitting the red button down below. We would love to have you put RV videos out every single Tuesday and then pipeline videos on Thursdays and other videos in between. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great evening. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in our next video. Bye. Are you listening to me? You can hear me outside? Oh Lord. I can hear that you're talking, but it ain't like only whenever I'm close. So people are probably like, oh, that chick is in there talking to herself. That's good to know.